How to Miter an Outside Corner. Nextone recommends using Nextone outside corners wherever practical for durability and a watertight seal. The corners are packaged four per box. The corners are manufactured with a long side and a short side. The corners allow the panels to be staggered along the wall when they are stacked alternately. The pre-made corners provide a seamless transition to the panels around 90 degree corners. Panels can be mitered when it is not practical or cost efficient to use pre-made corners. Just a few tools are needed. The most important is a good quality miter or chop saw. Use a premium brand of polyurethane based glue to adhere the corners together. Set the miter saw to the angle of the corner, in this case 90 degrees. Mark the length of the panel to the corner and cut the first piece at a 45 degree angle. Turn the adjoining piece around so that the opposite side is against the fence of the saw. Make the cut as close to the edge of the stone surface as possible. This will allow the stone surfaces of the two panels to match up very closely. If done properly, you should end up with a little triangle piece of polyurethane left over. Here, we've constructed a small sample wall so that we can focus on the detail of the corner assembly. Dry fit the corners together. You can see that the panels can slide against each other at the corner, so make sure the edges of the corners are perfectly aligned. When you are satisfied with the alignment, apply a generous portion of the polyurethane adhesive to one side of the panels. Try to keep the adhesive a little bit back from the stone surface of the panel, so that only a minimal amount can be squeezed out the front side of the joint. Move the panels against each other about a quarter of an inch back and forth to spread the glue in the joint. Attach a screw in the screw hem of both panels to pull the tops of the panels together. Make sure the alignment of the panels is still correct. Attach a screw in the screw hem of both panels to pull the tops of the panels together. Make sure the alignment of the panels is still correct. Find places underneath the overhang of a rock and drive screws into the substrate to pull the bottom and middle of the panels together. Use at least one additional screw on each side of the panel. Wipe away any additional glue that is squeezed out from between the panels. Here is the reason to use a polyurethane glue. The polyurethane adhesive makes a chemical bond with the polyurethane of the panel, which creates a very strong contact point. If the angle of your wall is true, you should have a very tight seam. The result of this cut has very little overhang from the cut of the panels. You can trim down the overlap of the panels with a rasp, a file, or a knife. We find the best result is obtained by cutting the longer side down to meet the shorter side rather than filing or cutting both sides down at the same time. Cutting the longer side down to meet the shorter side will minimize the appearance of a straight seam running down the length of the joint at the corner. We'll demonstrate the rasping of the panels further on with some other panels that show much more overlap.
Cutting the longer side down to meet the shorter side will minimize the appearance of a straight seam running down the length of the joint at the corner. We find the best result is obtained by cutting the longer side down to meet the shorter side, rather than filing or cutting both sides down at the same time. Some walls are not exactly a 90 degree angle at their corner and it may be difficult to get a perfect seam. If this is the case, you may wish to fill any large seam line with caulk. Apply the caulk along the joint line where necessary and distribute with your finger. Use a small paintbrush to add texture to the caulk after you have filled the seam line. Paint over the seam where the panels meet, whether you use caulk or not in order to seal the joint. Feather the paint out from the joint onto the surrounding rocks. The paint will appear to be a lighter color when first applied. In about 30 minutes, the touch-up paint will dry to match the surrounding rocks. The finished mitered corners will blend nicely into the rest of your next stone project. We hope you found this video helpful. Please check out the Next Stone Classroom at nextstone.com for more installation videos.